Do you guys want to serve like Roger Feder or Ivo Karlovic? Well, on this video, we're going to tell you exactly what your serve is missing and how to improve the rhythm of your serve by doing a couple of easy drills and find out what the biggest difference is between, let's say, Roger Feder or Karlovic serves and your serve. So, we have seen many pros how the first thing they do on the surface, they teach getting into the trophy position and waiting on this position before they do the drop of the racket. But we see how more and more players nowadays are switching from the position of the trophy position to the uh, emotion where they do a lack of the racket when they are doing the back swing. So instead of getting into this position, waiting and then drop it, what they are doing is they are tossing, they are going slower with the racket, the racket kind of lags here, and then on the last second, instead of stopping here, what they do is they keep the rhythm going, the racket never stops, and they go up. Okay, so we can see how players like Nadal, for example, he used to be, he used to come here quick, wait, and go up. But if you see him right now, he does completely the opposite. He tosses the ball, he lags the racket a little more, and then he gets more rhythm, more rhythm on the racket, okay? So what's the biggest difference between the traditional serve with a trophy position and the modern serve with the racket lag? Actually, it's the timing where the racket starts coming up, okay? So the way you start is gonna be exactly the same one as the traditional serve, but after that, what these kind of players do is they toss, and after once they are tossing, this racket keeps staying down here and moves back very slowly. Uh, that's against, for example, let's say a traditional serve where the racket moves faster, comes here and as you go up with the left arm, the right arm goes also up. Okay, so this place what they do is they toss, the racket stays down here, and on the last second what they do is they accelerate more the racket, so they get a little more racket here speed, they get more rhythm, more rhythm on the racket, and they never get to stop the racket on the trophy position, so it's where they can get a little more racket here speed, so it could look something like this, okay? So I'm going to show you first the traditional one, okay, the one where I'm going up and we're in trophy position and then I'm jumping and then I'll show you the, the one with the racket lag, okay, so I'm going to do the traditional first, so I'm here, go up quick and wait and I serve, okay, and I'm going to show you the one with the Alia mode racket lag here, okay, so I'm going to toss, you see how my racket moves very slow at the beginning, but then I'm going to accelerate more, more as I go up and the racket drops, okay, so I'm here, like it's going to slow, and then I go up, okay, I'm going to show you one more time here, so I'm here, the racket goes slow, and then I hit it, okay, great, so next thing we're going to do, we're going to give you a few drills of how to start learning this motion, so for those of you where you feel like you get stacked and you are not able to get enough racket head speed on your serve, I could definitely suggest you to try this motion and let's see if it okay, works Okay, so now I'm going to give you a few drills for you to learn how to do the serve with the racket lag. Okay, so first one is going to be very easy. What I'm going to do is I'm going to toss the ball and after I toss, I'm going to let the racket hang in here. Okay, so I'm going to toss and I'm going to wait on this position here. So you can see how my racket waits back and stays here even though my arm is straight up and I already tossed the ball. Okay, so I'm going to do it again here, here, I'll do it again here, here, very nice. So make sure you practice a few times, start getting ready of taking the racket back very slowly and kind of like waiting there, okay? Very good. Next thing we're going to do, you're not even going to need a ball, that was an awful throw there you go you're not gonna even need a ball what you're gonna do now is you're gonna do a few uh, shadow swings of how to do the racket lag okay so i want you to start very very slow so you make sure you do it properly i don't want to see a racket stopping on the trophy position at any point okay so a racket is gonna move and it's gonna never stop and then on the last second you're gonna try to accelerate a little more okay so especially at the beginning do it very slow in here here the racket lags and then i accelerate up Okay, I'm gonna do it again. I can even do it with jump if I want. Here, slow, and then I serve. Okay, I'm gonna show you one more time. Here, very slow, here, and then I serve, okay? Very good. And we're gonna do one more drill where we're gonna actually mix the serve with the shadow swing, and then on the next one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do my normal serve, 
trying to focus on going slow at the beginning of the motion and then accelerate on the last moment, okay, to get, start getting more rhythm. So I'm going to start with the Shaozong here, okay, full rhythm now. And now I'm going to do the full serve right here, okay, here, slow, and serve. I'm going to go with a shadow swing here, slow, and serve. Let's add the ball now. So here, slow, and serve. One more time, shadow swing here, and serve. Let's go with the full serve now. Here, and serve. Very good. So try it out. Let's see if it helps you. Let's see, I'm pretty sure you're gonna start getting way more racket head speed. You might feel like you don't control the ball as much at the beginning because the timing is a little bit different if we compare it with the normal one with the trophy position, but practice it. And as you practice, you will see that you start, we will start getting that timing and it's going to be much easier to get a little more racket head speed and pace on that serve. So 